All right, class. We have some new students here today. Okay. So I want everyone to be kind and respectful to them. Okay. Come on in, kiddos. Oh my god. These guys look like the biggest losers I have ever seen. I screw off, loser. Mr. Mackey! He's being mean to me. I think you should punish him. Hey, Mr. Teacher, is that how you people treat new guests? I think he deserves detention. Now hang on, kiddos. I'm sure we can work this out. Okay. Work it out with my ass. Mr. Mackey, are you gonna punish this loser or what? He is super mean and stupid. Fuck off, fat ass. Maybe you should get up off your ass and drink some water instead of drinking soda every day. In fact, I bet there's a giant pond under your seat from your sweat marks, so maybe you should just drink that. Listen here, Donald. While you're here, you are representing North Middle School. That means that your ass has to behave. Also, I noticed that the teacher's lounge doesn't have any snacks. What kind of bullshit is that? Where are you hiding the teacher snacks? Oh, uh, we don't have any teacher snacks. We have to pack our own food. Okay. That's fucking bullshit! Guess I gotta go to McDonald's for lunch, God damn it! Um, sir, may I please ask you to not swear in front of the children? They are very impressionable. Ha ha! Yeah, this is bullshit! Ha ha! I can say it because that guy said it! Are you seriously undermining my authority in front of the children? Where do you get off? I will say whatever I damn well please, and I don't work here so good luck firing me, ha! Now, if you'll excuse me, the teacher's lounge is calling my name. I'm gonna go kick back and watch the new season of Cops while your ass sits here and teaches these naughty ass kids. Hey guys, you ready for the school field trip? No, this is gonna suck. Why are they making us go to a boring nature park? I'm excited. I can't wait to see all the pretty trees and the giant mountains. We should have just gone to the zoo or the arcade or something. But no, this school is broke as hell. So they have to resort to taking us to the boring forest because they can't afford anything that's actually cool. Chill out, bro. This will be fun as long as we make it fun. Yeah, it ain't all that bad. I heard that the Rocky Mountains are pretty cool. All right, everyone, start lining up. Everyone's ass better be on that bus within the next five minutes or there will be hell to pay. A few moments later. Joe, scoot over. I have literally no room at all. I'm touching the window. I can't move over anymore. It's okay, Joe. It's not your fault. Donald is just a fat piece of garbage. Ha 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 ha. Good one, Vlad. Screw off, Vlad. It's because they made us sit in the handicapped seat. This is bullshit. They made you sit there because they know you'll need constant supervision because you are a pathetic little bus rat. Ha ha, no way. Another Vlad classic. I hope you brought a towel to clean up the ass sweat. This is going to be a long bus ride. Yeah, Donald, you're fat. Ha ha. You're an asshole, Vlad. From now on, I'm going to make sure that all of my bus farts are pointed at you. All right, everyone. Shut the hell up. We have a super long bus ride ahead of us, and me and the bus driver need to stay focused on directions. So if any of you little assholes decide to bother us, it better be important. Later that day. Man, look at that. It's getting dark outside. For real. I wonder what kind of hotel we will be staying in. I hope they have a breakfast buffet. That would be pretty cool. Sorry to bring your hopes down, but they are making a stay at a Super 8 motel. Wow, that's gonna be so much fun. Do you think they have a pool? If they do, it'll be filled with cigarettes and condoms. We're staying in a motel? Is that even safe? Yeah, seriously. I feel like that wouldn't be safe for a bunch of kids. What was that? I think we ran over something. Ah, I have Dr. Pepper all over me. Sorry, Joe. It's not my fault. The dumbass bus driver hit something. What the fuck was that? What happened? I don't know. I think we must have hit a rock or something. God damn it, of course! We're stuck. She won't turn over at all. Oh, for the love of God! Hang on while I get in contact with AAA! This is bullshit! All right, everyone! Looks like we will be sleeping on the bus tonight! This piece of shit bus won't start! Shut up! It's time to go to sleep! If anyone makes a fucking sound, I will make sure that they get detention for the rest of the year! All right, everyone, rise and fucking shine. 
I got in contact with Triple A, and the bus is fucking totaled. Therefore, we will no longer be going to the National Park. Oh, what? That's ass. This is so unfair. Yes, thank the heavens, this is a miracle. I'm not done talking yet. As I was saying, we are stuck here for a few days. But that doesn't mean that we should halt the beauty that is the American education system. Therefore, you guys will be attending school with the local population. What? You have to be fucking kidding me. We just sat in a bus for the last 24 hours only to go back to school? This is bullshit. Donald, I swear to fucking God, do not test me today. Now, everyone get off the bus. It's time to go to your new school for the next few days. Where are we? I wonder what this school is going to be like. Maybe we will make some new friends. Seriously, this is going to be bullshit. It doesn't matter where we are. It's still just going to be boring ass school. Hey, look, there's a sign over there. Wow, this school is so different. What the fuck are you talking about? This is literally exactly the same. Stupid ass teachers, evil cool kids, and a failing infrastructure. How the hell is it any different? Dude, why are you so heated? We literally just got here. Yeah, seriously. You're gonna be miserable if you're already complaining in the first hour of us being here. Hey guys, I have to go potty. Where's the potty at? How the hell are we supposed to know that? Please, please help. I really, really need to go. It's an emergency. Oh, for crying out loud, can you please not make a scene? Just go ask someone, Joe. Everyone here seems pretty nice. Oh, God. Okay, fine. I'm not even joking. He literally took a shit inside Mr. Garrison's lunchbox. Oh, my God. Seriously? Cartman is such an asshole. Hey, uh, excuse me. Do you know where the potty is? <laughs> Hey, um, excuse me. Can you please tell me where the restroom is? It's an emergency. Hey, um, excuse me. Can you please tell me where the restroom is? It's an emergency. Well, sure, I can help you. Follow me. A few moments later. Feel better? Much better. Thank you. Well, of course. My name is Butters, by the way. What's yours? Hi, Butters. I'm Joe. It's nice to meet you, Butters. It's nice to meet you, too, Joe. Hey, um, do you maybe want to... Uh... Do you want to be friends? Yeah. I'd like that. Let's be friends. Yes, this is awesome. I made a new friend. Hey, me too. Woohoo! Do you want to see my collection of roses? Wow, you collect roses? Me too. Really? I've never met anyone else who collects roses before. Me neither. I'm always afraid to tell people because I'll get bullied. Wow, really? I'm sorry, Joe. I promise that as long as we're friends, I'll never even think about bullying you. Thanks, Butters. Me neither. So, what do you guys think of the new kids? I don't know. They seem chill, I guess. Bro, seriously? Those guys are the biggest losers I have ever seen. Did you see that one Donald kid? He is so fat. So fat that it made me want to cry. Dude, you are literally a fat ass. You have no right to call someone fat. I'm not fat, Kyle. I'm big boned. Cartman, we barely know these people at all. Maybe they're cool. Why don't you try actually being nice and friendly and giving them a shot? Yeah, seriously, dude. Maybe they're cool and we can hang out with them. I'm calling it now. Just you guys wait. I can already tell that these guys are total buttheads. Did you not see how that Donald kid was yelling at me? Quit being a dumbass, Cartman. You literally started that. Shut up, Jew. Kyle is right. Literally, the first thing you said to them was that they were losers. How about instead of being an asshole, you actually give them a shot as human beings? Ooh, I have an even better idea. What if we pull a massive prank on them? Like
like sneaking laxatives into their lunches. Dude, seriously? We would get into so much trouble if we did that. Did you literally hear nothing that I just said? Kyle, my friend, we know that you don't want to do my ultimate prank idea, but please don't ruin it for the rest of us. Dude, I'm not doing that shit. No, I'm gonna get a little easy. Come on, Stan. Are you really gonna trust Kyle the Jew? We should all pull an ultimate prank on them, and Kyle can sit out because he's a little bitch. Screw you, Cartman. If you pull anything on the new kids, I'm gonna tell the teachers. Come on, guys. We gotta get to class. A few moments later. Okay, class. Our new students will be joining us today. They might be a little shy, so today we are going to get you guys into partners and play a game to break the ice with the new kids. Oh god, this is gonna suck! Can we just pick our partners? Yeah, seriously, you better not put me with that fat piece of shit. Uh, shut up, fat ass! Stop calling me fat! Donald, Cartman, let's behave. Don't make me call your parents. What the hell can you even do? My parents live several hours away. Please call them so they can pick me up. Oh yeah, that's right. Hey, where the hell are you kids staying anyways? That's just gonna be a plot hole that we have to live with. Huh, well alright then. Okay, kids, I am now going to announce the partners. If you don't like them, you can blame randomlistgenerator.com. So don't come at me. Oh, God. Please, God. Just don't put me with that worthless Donald kid. Or Kyle. I promise he'll be a good boy for a whole hour if you can do this for me. Amen. Shut up, Cartman. You'd be lucky to have me as a partner. Oh, my God, guys. If you guys don't want to play Kahoot, we can just do a pop quiz instead. Everyone, please be quiet. Okay, here are the partners. George, you're going to be with Kenny. What's up, bro? <laughs> well, this will be easy since neither of us talk much. Obama, you're going to be with Stan. Hey, bro. What's up, man? Donald, you're going to be with Butters. Thank God. Nice. That one pairing knocked out two shitty partners. Hang on, Mr. Garrison. Are you sure I can't be with Joe? Me and him are friends now. Sorry, Butters. I already wrote this list on Google Docs, and I'm too lazy to change it. Joe is going to be with Cartman. Oh, my God. Please don't put me with that loser. Hey, what? Please put me with Butters. Please, Mr. Garrison. Please! Shut up, guys. Cartman and Donald, you boys better behave or else I'm gonna have you two sent to the principal's office. Okay! I'm not gonna bother announcing everyone else since you guys don't matter that much and don't have names. Begin! How the hell does this game even work? You didn't even tell us the rules. It's simple. A question will appear on the board, and each group who gets it right will receive a point. Each group who gets it wrong will get zero points. It's pretty fucking simple if you ask me. I don't want to play this stupid game! Can we just watch a video or something? Yes, yeah, seriously, no one cares about this shit. Alright, that's it, you two! Looks like I'm gonna need some backup. A few moments later... What the fuck is going on here?! These kids aren't listening. I was hoping you could smack some sense into them since some of these are your kids. Sure thing! Donald, Joe, Obama, and George, sit down, shut up, and play the fucking Kahoot game. You're lucky you're doing this instead of a quiz. And by the way, the grades you get at this school will carry over when we go back to North Middle School. So you guys better fucking behave and learn the fucking curriculum like good little boys. Fuck this, this is bullshit. All right, let me pull up a seat. Looks like this is going to need some extra supervision. Oh my god, that guy's so lame. Okay, class, first question. Who was the first president of the United States? Oh, this is so easy. George Washington. Pick George Washington. Wait, are you sure? Yes, dumbass. George Washington. Pick George Washington. Oops. I'm sorry, Donald. My finger slipped and I picked the wrong one. God damn it. I swear to God, Joe, just pick George Washington. I don't know how this thing works. I don't know computers. Oh my fucking God. Why do I have to get this special needs kid as my partner? Hmm, that's an easy one. George Washington. Yep, I just picked it. Nice. Okay, next question. This one's going to be a little bit harder. Which Mesopotamian farming technique was most used in the southern regions of what is now modern-day Iraq? What? What kind of fucking question is that? How the hell are we supposed to know that? Which one do I pick? Which one do I pick? Come on, guys! We literally went over this last week. Do I need to call your parents and get you guys more Adderall for you guys to finally sit down and listen? Come on, dumbass! You're supposed to know this? He said you guys went over it! I don't remember, I don't remember. Oh my god, I give up! We have no shot of winning this shit with my stupid-ass teammate! Fuck this, time's running out, just pick a random one. Um, okay, fine! God damn it! Pick one already, come on! Dude, are you actually serious right now? 
Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Yep, Donald and that other kid are in last fucking place. What's fucking new? Okay, looks like everyone got that one except for Donald's team and Cartman's team. God damn it. This is horseshit. Next question, what is the order of operations for PEMDAS? Come on, dude, come on, which one is it? Um, um, I don't know, can you help me out? My expertise is in team motivation, not stupid boring math. Come on already, pick one. Hey, wait, I think I know this one. Parachute expert, my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. I don't give a damn, just click it. Yes, we got it, we are geniuses. Um, uh... God damn it, screw this. I'm not playing anymore. Ha, looks like someone's mad because they're losing. This isn't even my fault. My partner is useless. Yeah, well, so is mine. Can we all just get along? Please stop yelling. I get scared easily and I have anxiety. Shut, Shut up. up! All right, I think we should make this more interesting. After this game, everyone will receive candy except for the team that's in last place. Maybe that will straighten you guys up and finally program you guys into the American education system. Candy, you say? That candy is mine. Next question. Who was the Princess of England in 1854? All right, come on, I want that candy. Please tell me you actually know this one. Um, well, I... I don't know this one. Ooh, I know this one. Easy, Princess Alexandrina Victoria of Kent. How the hell did you know that? I love princesses, they're so pretty. I can actually name every single princess in the history of England and France. Cool! Whatever, loser! Now we just have to make sure that Donald and Butters get it wrong! Oh my fucking god, what kind of fucking questions are these? Is this math class or history class? This is bullshit. Joe, help me out. Which one is it? Gee, I don't know, Donald. Cartman said I'm not supposed to tell you. Are you seriously gonna listen to that fat ass? Come on, we've been friends since second grade. Give me the damn answer. Don't do it, Joe. We're a team, right? Joe, come on. Time's running out. Spit it out. Joe, I swear to God, I will embarrass you every single day for the rest of your time here if you give him the answer. Don't listen to him, Joe. He's just being a sore loser. I have connections, Joe. I have people I can call. Decide wisely. Okay, it, it's Princess Victoria of Kent. God damn it! Are you actually serious right now? Thanks, bro. All right, Butters. You heard the guy. Oops! I picked the wrong one. I'm sorry. Can we still be friends? Ha! Classic Butters! That's my boy! Alright, looking good. Looks like Stan and Obama are in the lead. They haven't missed a single question yet. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's take a look at our losers. Oh, look at that! Donald and Cartman are tied for last fucking place. What a surprise! I guess one of you won't be getting candy. Okay, last question. This one is for all the marbles. That's right! This is the big one! Time to see which pair of kids has the least amount of brain cells. Also, I just decided that the ultimate loser is also gonna have to see me after class. Let that sink in while you answer this next Kahoot question. You guys have made what was supposed to be a simple Kahoot game a fucking disaster. Back in the days of ancient Rome, Alexander the Great was a mighty conqueror who took over half of Europe. Historians nowadays believe that he was actually buried alive. He had a condition that made him completely paralyzed, yet fully mentally aware of his surroundings and what was going on. What was the medical condition that he had that caused this freak accident? What the fuck kind of question is that? We are fucking doomed. I heard that. You guys were very disrespectful today, during class. That Kahoot game should have taken like 15 minutes. We set you guys up with the special needs students because we trusted you guys. Clearly you guys are offensive and excluding them in our curriculum studies. What do you guys have to say for yourselves? Wait, what? Joe is retarded? Haha, <laughs> that makes so much sense now. We do not use the R word in this school. You will apologize to the special kids and you're gonna do their homework for a week. Hang on a second, Joe is not retarded. Who the hell told you that? Butters, on the other hand, I would totally believe that. What did I just say about using the R word? You guys will not get away with this offensive and exclusionary behavior. Oh my god, dude. Calm the hell down. Your breath stinks, man. Did you just call me man? I'll have you know that I identify as panglacial they them pronouns. Educate yourself before coming to South Park Elementary, dude. Yeah, totally. Whatever that means, I think it's also worth mentioning that they totally fucking sucked at Kahoot! 
They literally got none of the questions right. They made their pathetic fucking partners do all the work. How dare you, Donald? How dare you represent the glory of North Middle School in such a horrendous light? It's not my fault my partner was a total moron. He didn't know anything. Your partner was a moron? Try being with that loser Joe kid. He was so stupid that we missed a bunch of questions because he didn't know how to use the damn computer. Oh my fucking god! I cannot handle this offensive language! I thought you guys were better than this! I'll have you know that I've been recording with my iPhone this whole time, and I will make sure that TikTok finds out about this! Prepare for the sheep to sink their mighty horns into you guys! I'm gonna sit this one out, Mr. Pingus! I am just so ultimately triggered that I am literally shaking right now! I think I might be having an anxiety attack! I'll leave these assholes to you! Well, clearly you guys are in trouble for making fun of the special kids. The incompetent school board never told me about Joe's condition, but whatever. I guess that's what we're gonna roll with. You guys are hereby in trouble for making fun of and excluding the special needs kids. Ha! Are you fucking serious? I've been partners with Joe several times. Ain't no way that he's as special and useless as Butters. Not true. Not true. Butters could run mental laps on that Joe kid. I think I'm gonna agree with Cartman on this one. In fact, I've been trying for months to get all four of you into the special needs classes. Why hasn't the school reached out to your useless father yet? That's total bullshit. You can't do that. My dad will sue you. Seriously? Your dad would never get his ass off the couch unless there's a sweet and shiny Modelo waiting for him. Okay, I'm back. I have officially overcame my trigger attack, and we can now start to hand out punishments. Maybe we should hire some specialists for these naughty kids. Just like you were telling me about Donald, Cartman has also been a problem time and time again. Perhaps we don't have the necessary medical license to deal with these types of children. Maybe it's time to call in a specialist. As a matter of fact, Mr. Principal, I couldn't agree with you more. That's exactly why I took it upon myself to bring reinforcements. Oh God, please tell me you didn't bring Ben. Who the hell is Ben? Ben is the best and greatest student that North Middle School has ever seen. And as much as I love and admire Ben and his triumphant standing as an excellent student, he was busy today with his karate tournament. I brought in someone else, someone that holds a very special place in my heart. Back in the day when he was in the middle school, he was my favorite student. He was the coolest and best student that the school had ever seen. All of the teachers adored him. All of the girls loved him. All of the boys want to be him. There was simply no student even close to his social standing at the school. Hey bro, you want to go to Game Surge with me this weekend? I heard that there is a new Star Wars Battlefront game coming out on the Xbox. No way. Really? That's finally out? I heard that they added space battles to that one. Yo, dude, what's up? Why are you out of breath, dude? He's coming! Run away! He's coming! Dude, what? What are you talking about? Oh god, here he comes again! I gotta get out of here! Dude, what? What the heck was that about? What's up, losers? Looks like my prey ran away. Time for a beatdown! No, please don't hurt us. We don't have anything. Our hands are dry. Nice try. I know you have some lunch money for me. I saw your mom's give it to you this morning. Please, Samuel, please. Lunch money now, or else I'm gonna pound your ass. Okay, here it is. Just please leave me alone. Come on, hand it over, loser. Oh God, I promised my dad I wasn't gonna cry this week. Ha, huh, what a day to be cool and popular. Now I have $10. Maybe I could make a living off of torturing losers. In all of my years in the education system, he truly stood as the most classy, cool kid of all time. Wow, look at how much money you made today. Oh, uh, hey dude, I wasn't expecting to see you here. What's up, my man? Yeah, save the pony boy stuff for the locker room. I'm here to collect my money. You saw that group text I sent this morning, right? All cool and popular kids are supposed to give me half of their earnings this week. Oh, gee, uh, half? 
Don't you think that's a lot? I had to trip up a lot of losers for this money. Yeah, so, uh... I'm not gonna ask you again. Give me the fucking money. Oop. Sorry, guys. Just gotta sneak in here and get something from my locker. Oof! Look, man, I'm not scared of you. I spend all day pummeling losers. That shit ain't gonna scare me. Oh. So you don't want to listen to me, huh? Well, maybe I can help. Taste the special sauce. Gah! It burns! Just remember who's on top from now on. I understand. I understand. Here, take all the money. Just please don't tell my girlfriend about this. He was simply the coolest kid during his time at North Middle School. And miraculously, even after all these years, he just so happened to be in the area for a camping trip. We are blessed to have him come and visit this dump of a school and help be a leading role model to you nasty-ass kids.